Well, the concept of crowdfunding is to seek often relatively small amounts of money from a large number of people, known in this context as the crowd. And the crowd can be a pre-vetted group of sophisticated investors or just members of the public generally. But the key theme is the use of internet platforms to bring together innovative businesses and individuals with large pools of potential investors. Traditionally, crowdfunding has been used for concepts and early stage ventures where mainstream funding might not be available, but more and more we're seeing it being used by new and established businesses for its other benefits, such as connecting with customers and developing a buzz around brand. Think about Brewdog and Monzo as examples of that. So it's not just a tool for the startup community, it also has its attractions for established and growing businesses. Whether your crowdfund is donation-based, loan-based or equity-based, there are legal and practical implications that you need to be aware of and understand before embarking on a campaign. Promoting investments to the public through crowdfunding is subject to regulation, with potential criminal liability for directors and management of investee companies. It's a complicated area, so you need to be working with your advisors to ensure the proper authorizations are in place, that your pitch document is accurate and that it adequately discloses the risks to investors. Companies also need to bear in mind the implications of moving from a small group of owners to potentially a large and diverse stakeholder base. With that comes increased administration and costs, not to mention the scrutiny of third parties who have invested in your business with the hope of making a return. So you need to be upfront in your pitch document about what you can and cannot deliver. If you play it right, however, that stakeholder base could be your business's greatest supporters and promoters. 